to start off by saying that uh, I didn't really know if I wanted to put this video out or not. <clears throat> so, so it was May 13th of this year. Uh, I was on the red box conversing with someone I had already been recently conversing with, just never met up. Now, I wish I had never met up with him, but um, just this one particular night, it was like one, one I'm gonna say 12, almost one o'clock um, in the morning. I had to be at work at, um, at nine, 8.30. You had to be at work at 8.30. Um, you know, he hit me up. He was like, oh, I'm in town. Um, you know, we always miss each other. You know, uh, what you doing? I said, Ashley, you know, I'm just at home, you know, laying in my bed alone, watching the TV, just chilling, you know, because at, at the time I wasn't smoking because I was um, cleaning out my system. Um, so it had been like 13 days for me not smoking any marijuana. Um, I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing nothing. I was doing like a a total body cleanse. When I come over and chill with you, I'm just leaving this spot with my homies and um, it'd be good to see you. I said, okay, cool. So, um, again, y'all, you know, we met on the red box. We conversed on the red box. Um, so he came over. Let me back up. So he said he was in town visiting. Um, and then he told me he was from New York. Um, he said Harlem, uh, I remember him having a, like, a black hoodie on, he had the hood on, he had a, uh, a feeder cap on, he had a beard, you know, kind of my build, but stockier, you know, and, um, he said, let me come up, let me pull up on you, you know, let's just chill, you know, I said, but look. You're not getting none. I said it just like that. You're not getting none. I said it just like that. You're not getting none. I'm not ready. I just want to like chill and cuddle. I said, I said these exact words. I said, I just want to be held tonight. I just want to be held. Um, not really sure what was on my mind, what I was going through. Remember, I was still in Atlanta at this time in May. Um, so I was like, I just want to be held. He was like, cool, cool, cool. I can do that. I said, like, he was like, so you want to cuddle? I said, yeah, I want to cuddle. So I said, okay, cool. He was like, I can hold you. I said, okay, cool. He was like, what's your address? I said to my address. I never give out my apartment number. I just sent out my address. And then once they get here, I, I, I give them my number and I kind of direct them to my place. Um, so I directed him to my place and he was like, hey, hey, now I know you told me, so you want to cuddle, go ahead and, you know, you know, cut those cameras off. Cause I know you got a camera in your room and you probably got a camera on your doorbell and all this other like legit. I don't think now thinking about it, like, like looking back, thinking about it. Um, he knew a lot about me. Like, he was watching, like, had been watching me. Um, so, I was like, yeah, I unplug it. So, I unplugged my camera from before he even got there. I had already unplugged my camera. My doorbell, my ring, like, my ring doorbell, it wasn't even working at the time. Don't know what the fuck was going on. Perfect timing to not be working, especially when the police are asking for, like, footage and evidence you know all this type of shit um and then i told him where to come i said um i'm on the second floor you can park anywhere outside i'm on the second floor and just let me know when you're coming up the steps so he was like yeah 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 and he was like i'm coming up the steps so i opened my door and you know it said ding you know the little ring thing went off and um i stepped out you know see he was coming Saw him come up the steps, he saw me, I waved, and um, he headed my way. He was like, I ain't being recorded at my, I was like, no, you ain't being recorded, bro. I already unplugged the camera before you got here, we good. It ain't none of that. Okay, he was like, cool. So um, we go in my room, 
and this is where it gets interesting um so i had already said prior that um i was doing like a total body cleanse alcohol no alcohol no marijuana no mollies um nothing no tobacco no no black and miles i like legit um and i i felt good like i was feeling really good so i just think i wanted to be held that night one um and two i just i didn't want to lay alone that was it nothing more nothing less um but i will say this y'all be careful when you guys are um linking up with you know these fellas on these apps um some type of safety precaution let your homie know what's going on like me and my best friend before this happened um like when we used to travel we would share our location um we would also tell the person you know tell each other you know who we did what the address is if something was to happen to my story so um so he came in real chill dude i i didn't get um, and you know I'm a people person, so I um, I didn't get any kind of bad vibes from the nigga. Um, I I can't say that I did. And he was like, "Can I get comfortable?" So you know, I got back on my bed. So technically, my bed is like this. My TV is behind, like that way. So I'm laying my head right here on this side of the bed, and he's on this side of the bed where the window is. Okay. I have a a yellow like sofa over there where he sat down. He took his shoes off. Um, he took off his hoodie and he like took his you know his hat back, which I noticed that you know he was he was bald, very good looking man. Um, bald had a beard, stocky, my little taller than me, um, a little darker than me. Um, and he came and he sat on it. He was like, can I sit on your bed? Which I thought was someone raised him right because he asked before he sat on my bed, you feel me? So I was like, yeah, get comfortable. Um, so he was like, can I roll up? I said, yeah, you can roll up. I'm not smoking right now because um, I have a drug test coming up. I gotta make sure you know I'm good. Um, and so he was like, cool, cool, cool. You know. So he sat back in the chair and he started to like roll up. Now, remind y'all, he rolled up um, at my place. He um, he did everything sitting right there in my bedroom. And because um, because I was so um, not really paying attention and um, focusing on what he was doing, um, he was able to do what he needed to do to get me where he needs to get me. And um, hold on real fast. Oh, he rolled up right there in my room, he got in the bed, he he lit the blunt, y'all. Um, I don't, now I'm thinking about it, um, I don't ever recall, Moon, I don't ever recall him, um, like, holding the blunt and, like, just, like, you know, puffing on it. Like, I don't, you know how, you, if you're smoking by yourself, you chilling, you vibing, you enjoying your weed. You feel me? Um, or your marijuana, your whatever y'all want to call it. I call it weed, green, um, marijuana. Um, and so I'm sitting in the bed and he kept saying, he was like, um, he was like, come on, just hit it. Like, I'm just laying on my side, y'all. My back is toward him. So, he, cause he's supposed to be holding me, you know, watching TV, you know, smoking his blood. And... I was like, no, I'm good. Like, 
I'm good. I told you, like, I'm trying to clean my system out. He was like, man, you got some, I, he was like, I know you got some knives and pills. You can knock that shit out in like two days. Just drink nothing but water. Which he was right, but I was doing something else, like mentally for myself. Um, so he kept like nudging. Come on, just hit, just hit it one time. Hit it one time. Hit it one time. So I grabbed the blunt from him. Um, and I leaned up, because you know, you're not supposed to be smoking laying down anyway. So I kind of leaned up a little bit. And I go, and and I immediately cough, like, <coughs> like cough. I was like, damn, um, I said, this shit is strong as fuck. Like, it's good, it's some good shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some good shit. So I hit it again, and I pull a little lightly this time. And um, I hit it three times. Like, I hit it three times before I passed it back to him. Um, so I passed it back, and um, he grabs it. And, you know, I get more comfortable in my bed, and I put my hand up like this. And then he passes me the plug again and he was like just let's just smoke he's like just let's he said let's just smoke and i said okay cool so i smoked the blunt god knows i should have just said no um god knows i should have just said no so um i hit the blunt a couple more times and like now i'm thinking about it I can't ever recall him when I'm passing the blunt back to him. Um, I can't ever recall him hitting the blunt. I, um, I I can't recall seeing him put it to his mouth. I can't recall um, seeing smoke blown my way from him. It's Helen. Um, I can't recall any of that. So, you know, in the moment you don't think about it but like me i'm a pisces um i kind of um dissect everything and so i he grabs again he give it to me we like halfway done well i i'm halfway done with the blunt because um i don't recall him hitting it so um I grab it from him. I hit it. I go like, like you know. And as as I'm letting go, I cough, and I try to get out of my bed. Um. And as I'm trying to get out of my bed, I stumble. Like I like, like I stumble and that. That's it, and that's, I, I'm not that nigga. I don't, we don't, we don't do that. She don't live here. Um, and he asked me, am I good? And I said, yeah, I'm good. When really I wasn't. Um, I wasn't good at all. Um, I stumbled out of my bed and I tried to go to the bathroom, but I didn't make it. Um, and that was, that was all I could remember. Um, that's when I blacked out and, um, When I woke up to my alarm going off for work, it is now like 10, I'm late. My alarm is just going off, going off, going off, going off. Um, I wake up and I am in, the middle of my bed uh, on my stomach when I woke up and I just I feel nasty there was shit 
on my mattress, um, sheets, blood, um, the nigga pissed on me, um, can explain it is um in pain and um my hole was throbbing and I had shit on my sheets I had shit on me I had urine um it was just as a as a, a thirty three year old man, something like you kind of you kind of kind of try to brush under the rug and like keep it trucking, my nigga, like keep it moving. And um, for some reason, I couldn't shake this. Um, the first thing I did was um, I grabbed everything. I grabbed everything out of, off. I grabbed everything off my mattress. And, um, I mean, everything. I mean, pillows, sheets, my comforter. I, I, everything. And I threw it in the corner, um, like it was, hazard material um I'll, i go to my door um only to find out that my door is locked my my room door is locked and i didn't lock it i actually had my room door cracked open because we wasn't doing anything um and i said that i was like i just want to cuddle I want you to hold me. He agreed to it. But he had other plans. Um, I unlocked the door. And nobody's, nobody's there. Nobody's at the house. It's just me. Um, my front door is locked. I run to the laundry room and I grab a bottle of bleach that we had and I come back in my room I shut my door I lock it and honest to God y'all um I didn't even check around the house um I didn't look into my closet um I ain't look behind me. nothing just wanted to get this off of me. That's it. I went to my bathroom. I turned my shower on. Um, even with my whole throbbing, I just stood in my shower and um, I stood in my shower and I just I started to lather myself up with soap, no towels, just all that. Took the bleach, poured it on me, rubbed it in, like, and for some reason I, I still felt dirty. With all the nasty shit that I do, with all the nasty shit that I'm into, I still felt
dirty. Um, and I think I stood in the shower for like 30 minutes because um, I was already late for work. And yes, after my shower, after my crying, and I told you so, I gave myself 30 minutes. 30. I got a dress. I left. I left all that um, waste um, in the corner of my room because I knew once I got home, um, I was going to throw it away. But I couldn't think about that right, like right now. I couldn't, that was the last thing on my mind. So I did what I think most people do. Um, I continued on with my day like it never happened. Um, and again, I've been through some shit, y'all. I've been through some shit. Um, and it's crazy to me. I don't see the nigga get his, his head blast open in front of me. Um, I don't hear them leave the cars in Detroit because niggas was looking for me um, because I saw I don't have niggas shoot at me. I don't have niggas shoot at my house. Um, I don't get through some shit. But uh, this particular incident um I could not shake. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't shake it. No matter how hard I tried to pretend like it didn't happen, I um, that it wasn't me. That everything's gonna be okay. Um, that I was gonna just like forget about it, not talk about it, which I didn't. And talk about it for like, like in detail. Um, almost two and a half months so um i'm like like i clock in the work i use um some of my leave time to you know make up for the time and i sit down at my desk and i log in And I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on. Um, I just, I just sat there. I sat there in all of my pain. I sat there in all of my disgustedness. I sat there in all of my I sat there. I can't believe this happened to me. And um, I must have been sitting there for a while because my coworker said she was calling my name and I didn't move. She said she just kept saying Justin. She said she did like this. And I I didn't blink. I didn't acknowledge her. Um, and she pushed me. Like, not pushed, but she nudged me to kind of like, like, what's wrong? What's going on? Um... And I snapped back, like I snapped, like, and I looked at her and she said, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm okay. She said, you sure? She's like, you've been awful quiet today. And, you know, we ain't getting, you know, 
just this bubbly self, you know, how you be up here, you know, making everybody laugh, you know, we ain't getting that bitch. She said, you, you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm okay. And she walks away. And all I could do was take a deep breath and try, um, not even try, pretend to be okay. And it almost worked. <laughs> it almost worked. And my body wouldn't let me pretend. Um, my body wouldn't let me sweep it under the rug. My body wouldn't let me just let it go. Um, because I took a deep breath and as I took a deep breath, I started throwing up. Um, and when I say throwing up, I mean throwing up and it wouldn't stop. My manager came over and, and he, you know, told me, you know, Follow him to the bathroom, took me to the bathroom, bent me over the toilet, and I just kept going, just kept coming and kept coming and kept coming. And um, all I could think about while my head's in the motherfucking toilet and um, throwing up everywhere is that this is my body's way of getting rid of him. Um, this is my body's way of letting him go. Um, Cause you have to remember my way was the bleach in the shower. I washed it away. And um, and then my body took over. Um, they sent me home. I sat in my car and I got on Bigo because my best friend wasn't here. Um, I didn't want, I didn't want really someone else to know. And I just said, something's not right. I said, something's not right right now. I don't feel right. I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like me. And um, someone said, Justin, which I knew they knew me because I was on an app. Um, they said, Justin, are you okay? Because I was crying. It wouldn't stop. Um, Um, he said, just know, are you okay? And I didn't respond. He said, if you're not okay, go to the emergency room. That's what he told me to do. He said, go to the emergency room right now. Get off this app and take care of yourself. That's what he said. Um, and I did that. I went to Grady and, um, let me get myself together. I went to Grady and first of all, what fucked me up and I'm going to let y'all know how I'm, my next video, I'm going to go into the process of how the entire process went when I checked into Grady. But what fucked me up the most about the whole situation, y'all, was that um, I I couldn't I couldn't get the police anything. <laughs> no 
footage. Um, they asked for my my Jack screen name and password. Um, and be honest with y'all, they did a they did a rape kit. Um, they drew blood, all that. Um, they treated me for everything. Um, I think I took like 22, 23 pills a shot. Um, they treated me, they treated me, they preventively treated me as if he had everything. And I, I appreciate that. Um, but what was very disappointing to me was that I couldn't even file charges. Um, I don't know his name, his real name. Um, don't even know if he actually lives in Atlanta or New York. Um, I only could give them a description, but bald, stocky, with a beard, shit, that's like 65% of Atlanta. Um, shit, that sound like my ex, you feel me? <laughs> um, I think that was the most disappointing part of the whole situation because as you're trying as you're trying to do something and you're trying to you know make this nigga pay he walks free he um he walks free he's able to sleep soundly at night. Um, I was having night terrors. I was not going to sleep for days, for nights. I uh, felt like I was being watched. Um, I already really have really, really bad anxiety. So that on top of that, it just didn't help me. I became very depressed. Um, mood swings. Um, so I had to... I had to... I I had to swallow this giant um ass pill which was that this guy will never be caught not by me um this guy could legit be watching me um and that this guy that this guy could legit be watching me he knows where I stay um he let himself out of my house he locked my door after him so he was very comfortable to the point where I feel like I was just He he didn't he didn't care about what I needed or what I wanted or what I asked for. It was it was more so what he wanted and he and what he wanted and needed at that time and all I wanted was to cuddle. All I wanted was to be, you know, held and um Um, 
My psychiatrist says, I, I can't shake this because um, sex was the one thing in my life with all the chaos and all the drama and all the foolishness. Sex was the one thing that I could control. Um, I could tell a nigga no. I could tell him how I wanted. I could tell him where I wanted. Um, it was the one thing I had that I controlled. And he took that away from me too. He took my control, um, my peace. He took my my safe haven, which is my place. Um, it was times where I wouldn't even come home because I didn't know who would be waiting. Um, who would be waiting for me? You know, so um, y'all take this as a uh, a lesson learned because I can't take it back. I wish I could um, because it this is different. This is when I this is different. Um, and now I see well, not, now I understand why um, rape victims um, never say anything um they just keep it balled up, which I wish, I wish I could, I wish, um, on a, on my grandma's grave, I wish I could just had swept this under the rug. I wish I could have just went to sleep and woke back up and, um, was out of my mind. Um, but it was eating me alive. Um, I wasn't eating. Um, I wasn't sleeping. I was on so many medications that um, I didn't feel like myself, I felt like a complete zombie. Um, I felt as if I was there, but I wasn't present. <clears throat> and I'm trying to get back to me. And um, it's been hard, it's been hard. So y'all um, be careful. Be very careful out here. Peace and love. Peace and love. Um, yeah.